I'll locate this spot. This is clay again. What I did was I went ahead and pushed all the way back to the floor drain since we did have some cracking in our cast iron. And as I was pushing back to the floor drain, this, this floor drain is actually outside the house in the uh, stairwell floor drain, the back of the house. Um, it is blocked up to this point, and you see we have a hole right at the top of our cast iron there. I located this. This was actually right by the door, and but with all this blockage and debris in the line, I can't get all the way to the floor drain, so I don't know if it's cracked all the way past that. I would recommend that this all get replaced. Now, I'll pull back. You can see we have heavy buildup. There's also some other cracks in this line. It's a very heavy buildup in here. You can see there's cracks, just a little bit of roots growing through there. Just a tie in on the left. See, we have another hole right here on the right and our cast iron and that's still coming back through where there's a tie-in tie-in comes in from the top and at the bottom there you can see the hole right there on the right so we'll keep pulling back through Our main tie into our stack right there on the right. Just have some rough fluckiness on the right. Just making sure these aren't cracks. Tying up top. There's where we're cracking. It's starting to crack at the top, and this is where it starts getting a little worse right through here. So, what we have is cracking in the cast iron. The cast iron starts to deteriorate. I would recommend that this all be replaced. I will go in the basement and mark on the basement floor with tape from this area and then from this area back to the door where the floor drain is I would recommend be replaced because of the holes and with the cracking in the cast iron it might crack more when you're trying to replace it so I'm going to go ahead and go back in the basement mark this area and I would recommend from the floor drain to this area be replaced I'm going to go ahead and keep coming back through make sure there's no more cracking in our cast iron See, we have a hole up top there. The water is so that needs to be replaced. Through, making sure there's no more cracks or breaks. This is right where we exit from the cast to the clay. I'm going to jump back up in the cast, push back out to that last hole that we've seen. I'm going to locate that area. So I'm going to pause here while I do that. Mark this area on the floor. This area has been dug up before. You can see where it may have been replaced before, or for some reason it was dug up before. You can see where the concrete was. Or the new concrete was laid back down. So I would recommend from the floor drain, from the back door of the basement, 
I'll be replaced at this point. I put tape on the ground. But you see there is some other tape on the ground also. But from the furthest tape, closer to the front of the house, is where this hole is. So we're going to keep pulling back through. So the rest of the pipe. We know that all this is in serviceable condition. See, we start to hold a little water. That's not of any concern. But this is right where we connect to clay. It's hard to see because we hold water. Just a little bit of build up. Now we hold a little bit more water. The reason we just hold water is because of that build up on the bottom of the pipe. But you see as we pull back and closer to the trap, there's roots growing through the clay. It causes this water to be held in the pipe. See so we're holding water all the way over. You see there's roots there. And as we come back, this is a very heavy spot of roots. It actually holds the water back in towards the house. So this does need to be cabled with a five inch cutter to the house and also out to the main for the roots that were out there. And this is right at the trap. You can see some debris that was in in the line. The grate was covered so just some dirt got down in there. It can all be just cabled through the line. So the line does need to be cabled out to the main and to the house with a five inch cutter. Also there's holes and cracks in our cast iron from the floor drain out in the backyard, the stairwell drain, all the way to the last tape mark close to the foundation because those all have cracks and breaks and holes in our cast iron. So I would recommend that that does be replaced. So I'm going to stop here at this time.